Well done, young warrior. You have faced many challenges. Ah, uh, yes, fought I fought many um, battles and proven me? yourself worthy. Uh, and, hello. And, and, would you mind not interrupting? It's very rude, you know. But I'm not interested in being a champion. I just need to talk to you about my dreams. Dreams? What dreams? I see a tall tower on top of a mountain, and inside, there's a great <gasps> golden <sighs> bell. Shh, be careful what you say. What? You're not supposed to talk about such things. Come through here. Now then, you say you had a dream about a golden bell on top of a mountain. Incredible. The bell you are referring to is called the Golden Voice, and it sits atop the Mount of Sighs. Mount of Sighs? And you see all this in a dream, you say? Yes, I know it sounds strange, but I'm sure it must all mean something. Amazing. Here, let me show you. Far back in the mists of ancient time, our people lived free and, for the most part, happy in a golden city called Arius. It was ruled over by a mighty and just leader named Athelion. Now Athelion had a mortal enemy, Vetch, who had conquered many races and many worlds. He was determined to defeat Athelion, but he could not even approach the Golden City, as its intense light would blind him and his minions. So he decided to bide his time. An opportunity was bound to arise, and it shortly did. Athelion was called away to help his father fight in the Galactic Crusades. Before he left, he had a bell fashioned from pure gold and set it in a tower on top of the Mount of Sighs. It was called the Golden Voice, and if the people were ever in need of it, they could sound a bell and Athelion would return to save them. So Athelion left and Vetch saw his chance. He made a pact with one of the council who were left in charge of Arius, a man named Dasis. With his help, Vetch engineered a virus that would infect the people of Arius and drive them out of the Golden City. Not only that, without regular doses of the antidote, the people would die. So they were made to work as slaves for Vetch. Vetch found that he could not destroy the Golden Voice, so he built a permanent fortress around the Mount of Sighs, so that if anyone tried to sound the voice, they would be captured. And as far as I know, the voice still sits silently on top of the Mount of Sighs, and Athelion must still be out there somewhere fighting for good. Wow! So the mountain does exist? Almost certainly. Why else would Vetch be so concerned about it? Whew! I was starting to think I was going mad. Well, do you know where it is? That's the only problem. Nobody knows for sure. Hmm. When we first were enslaved, many of our people gave their lives to escape and take with them the artifacts of our fallen race. The artifacts were all hidden in a maze in the depths of a huge volcano. Maybe there is something in there that will help you find the Mount of Sighs. How would I get there? I had an escape tunnel made in case I ever fell from Vetch's favor. It leads to a small aircraft that you can use to fly to the volcano. Oh, this is so very exciting. If you find the Golden Voice, it could mean that Vetch's grip is weakening, and he may not be as invincible as he believes. Now go quickly before the guards become suspicious, and good luck.